Alrighty, this is part two, guys. So, Zayn? Yeah, man, that's how good my Zayn's book will be, guys. You're looking at a masterpiece. Will the book have crazy buzz? Yes, the book will have crazy buzz. I'm going to experience a crazy worldwide thing for the book, obviously. Everywhere I go, fans are going to ask me for pictures and, 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 and ask me to sign their books. The fans who have books, I might even go touring for my book. You never know. I might, but, but for the book, I highly doubt I'll go touring for that. Because, because, because how are the people going to contact me, I'm saying? Unless someone, someone might approach me, obviously. Whereas, whereas what? For the movie, I have my, I have my secretaries who are my managers. I have my, I'll have the number of my company. All the organizers around the world want to interview. You just have to call my office. And my secretaries will, will, will handle everything for me and VJ, obviously. My head of production and my secretaries will handle everything for me and VJ. Or I can hire my own personal assistant to handle that for me. I can pay her a good, like... 20k or something like that to handle. Hire a part-time personal assistant to handle all the scheduling for you and VJ if you want. You know how VJ, you know how Hollywood celebrities they have their own like team that handles their social media. Yeah, you're gonna have to have someone like that to handle that for you. Like VJ, we can either have our secretaries be our managers and our hair production, or we can hire our own personal assistant, pay her like 25k to handle all that. Our secretaries can easily handle all that for us. My secretaries will be my personal assistants and my head of production. Have them be your personal assistants. They're going to handle all this. So if people want to interview me and VJ behind the scene world tour, they, 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 they handle all that for me and VJ. Obviously. Me and VJ are going to be so boss, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, you're looking at something crazy for, for my for my book, man. Will it have crazier buzz in the movie? No. The movie will have crazier buzz because it's me. It's me. You're going to see me on the screen. You're going to see me, Ivan O'Meara, on the screen. Eric Tassadel. I brought the world to life. Eric Tassadel himself. That billion dollar unheard of technology movie. Yeah. And all the Hollywood actors in my movie. Yeah. The movie will have crazy buzz, man. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy buzz. Yeah, man. That's why the Zane's actors, once you're like, oh my God, Ivan. I can't wait to be a part of this. Or their agents are going to tell them, okay, guys, wait it out. Don't sign a bunch of contracts for movies. As Let's see if Ivan and VJ are going to start Sky Source. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and once you see me trending with George Lucas, that's the cue. I'm signing Sky Source. And I'm going to make that amazing Last of Us movie. Yeah. Eratat, the king of the south. Ephesus, the king back of the mountains. Eratat's demon throw, demon crows, the spies of the south. The Eagles, the Watchers of the North. They've got an amazing story, you know what I'm saying? The Blood Valley is the bridge between the North and the South. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the South is cursed. The North is holy. The North is holy like Rivendell. The South is cursed. It has this grayish, bluish sky. And the atmosphere is cursed. It's tainted, obviously. There's a mystic veil that veils the South. And Eretet's the king of that region. Ephesus is the king bat of the mountains in the city, the ancient Gilead city. Look at an amazing story, yeah, man. The cursed devil answers of the South who watch in the sky. The holy ass of the north who watched in the north. Look at an amazing story, yeah, man. I why are they watching? I don't want to spoil the story. I don't read the book. I haven't. Do the people see them? Do the people see them? No. The only ones, the only ones who recognize the 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 because in, in the book, whenever whenever you see the demonic beings and, and the holy beings in the sky, they only appear for like a quick flash sec, like a quick second. You see it for a quick flash second. So you're gonna see in the movie when uh, these faces in the sky and they appear for a quick like flash second, obviously. As the people b b barely see, b don't see it pretty much, right? Obviously, but you'll see what I mean. When you read the book. You see what I mean. You're looking at an amazing story. You're looking at a masterpiece, guys. Really, Ivan? Yes, you're looking at a masterpiece of a story. You're looking at an amazing story, man. Best story I've told in most vision, man. That's why Peter Jackson, when he reads my book, he like, yeah, you like, yeah. I see. I Peter Jackson will even order his takeout. You know, saying all the ho all you Hollywood celebrities are gonna order. You're gonna order your takeout too. Read my book too, man. You guys pay your one hundred. You guys are all rich. You all pay your one hundred dollars. That's pocket change, obviously. Or if you want, you can pay twenty dollars. You pay your twenty dollars, your one hundred dollars. You read my book. You're like, holy shit, this book is sick. And you order your takeout too. You order your McDonald's, your Harveys, your AMWs, your Wendy's. Yeah, I'm gonna get food. Whenever my print, because I wrote my own book, Lulu will send me a free copy of my book. Obviously, I get that perk. If you write your own book, you get a free copy of the book. Lulu will send me a free copy of the print. Obviously, it arrives in my mail. And the day it arrives in my mail, I'm going to go to the store and get beer. 
I'm going to go get food. I'll get, like, I don't know, I might get some McDonald's. Or I might get, uh, I might order some, a nice pizza for myself, a nice small pizza for myself. And I read the book. I, I, I read the book. I go out. I read the I'm in my room. I have my beer and I read the book. I'm like, holy shit, this book is sick. And I binge the whole book in like three days. Then after I finish reading the book, I'm like, holy shit, I can't believe I wrote this. This is a masterpiece, Gavin. This is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's a masterpiece, man. I wrote a masterpiece. Damn it. Hence why Peter Jackson and Gibson are going to really fight for that job, Mobs. Yeah. They're really going to fight for that job, yeah. Because Peter wants to get his... Peter, and Peter is a fantasy guy. Peter loves fantasy. That's why he'll want to get his hands on my stories. But yeah, Ivan's story is a very unique story. I want to get my hands on this story. Yeah, Mel Gibson's going to want to get his hands on my story, too. Christopher Nolan, Quentin Tarantino, James Cameron are going to want to get their hands on my story, too. Steven Spielberg, all those guys, Ridley Scott, they're all going to want to get their hands on my story. You know what I'm saying? Warner Bros., Disney, Paramount, all those executives are going to want to get their hands on my story. Oh, my God, if only we can adapt this story, but you can't. I own the rights to Zane, as you don't, obviously. And Pure Jackson would rather work on a Zane's project for my company than have Hollywood get their hands on my story. Because Hollywood, it's all dirty. Don't hate me. And, and they can't afford to put a billion dollars towards the movie. They'll lose money. Whereas me, I can afford to put a billion dollars towards Zanus. Because, because I have the keys. I'll make my money back. I'll make my money... A billion dollar investment is not risky for me at all. I'll make my money back tenfold. A hundredfold, right? I'm going to make my tens of billions in profit. And so the billion dollar investor is not risky for me. You see what I'm saying? Easy for it to pay Peter $85 million and give him $400 million of the royalties. Yeah. 0 0.6, 350, $400 of the royalties. I want you to have for Peter Jackson, obviously. So let's talk contracts. So for Peter Jackson, I want to pay him $85 million to direct my movie, co-write, and executive produce, which is $105 million in his own money. He gets his $2,000 gift card, $300 gas card, commercial money, the perks, obviously. And I'll take him and his family on a, on a two-week vacation in a nice resort around the world with my 17. The best resort in the world I can afford. I'll book it for him and his immediate family. Only his immediate family and my 17 with their immediate family. And he'll be going and win a all tour with his family. And they'll be going on a, a, a two-week vacation. So before he goes touring with me, I'll, he'll go on his, 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 his vacation. And then he... he Give, give him a good perk like that. You know, I'll fly them on my, on my two jets. I'll, I'll book, to pri I'll fly them privately to wherever they're going and afford it. And then after the, the tour, after the uh, the vacation, I'll, he, he, Peter Jackson was going to have to get ready to go touring from, 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 the, from the movie. If I go on the world tour, which I don't think he will, he'll go touring with me and my actors around the world. That's been crazy. And for the world tour of all the actors in Peter Jackson, we're staying at suites. I can afford it. Before I thought suites were four thousand dollars. Before I thought four thousand dollar rooms were not suites. No, four thousand dollar night rooms are suites. Starting prices for suites are like seven hundred, a thousand bucks. So I can easily afford to have the actors stay in top month suites. One thousand, two thousand dollar night suites. I can have them stay in suites. I love I luxury hotel. I can easily afford it. And their feeding and living is paid for. Limo services, their feeding is paid for at the buffet, and their living and their traveling expenses are paid for. Whereas if Peter wants to get stuff for his for his family and all that stuff, he has to pay his own money. Look, man, I paid your one hundred six million dollars. You got your nice ten mil bonus after filming. You can easy for it. You're a billionaire. You're paying for your own stuff. Same goes for my seventy million actors. You got to pay for your own stuff, man. I'm not paying for you. Some saying sometimes I, I'm saying yeah, yeah. And I'll give Peter zero point six percent. Of the profits of the Sky Source film profits, or I can give him a flat four hundred million dollars off the roll deals. Okay, you get four hundred million dollars off the seventy percent me and VJ make, or I can give you zero point six. What bills? What deals? What deal is better for you, Peter? You know, I don't know. I mean, zero point six might be more. Yeah, zero point six might might even be four twenty. If I make sixty billion, Peter will make four hundred plus in roll deals. Yeah, perhaps even four fifty. He might make perhaps. Just give him 0 0.6. That's my deal. And if his agent gets greedy and he wants like a billion dollars of the royalties, I'm like, Peter, I'm not going to give you a billion dollars of the royalties. You're fucking crazy. You're not worth it, man. 
Why would Peter be greedy? Because he knows he's not stupid. He knows the kind of money movies you're going to make. If me and VJ make $55 billion off Zanus, Peter wants a nice billion dollars at $900, $800 billion all that. He's greedy, obviously. Ivan, mean, you're greedy too. I'm like, no, Peter, I'm not like you, man. Even though I'm greedy and I'm taking all the treasure to myself, I'm giving you, uh, I'm sharing my treasure with you. I'm giving you like four hundred million dollars, three hundred million dollars of my money, Peter. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, Ivan. It's nothing about you, Vijay. Me, yes, it is. Stop thinking about the amount of money Vijay you're making and just know that I gave you a good deal. Stop thinking about that, Peter. If you think about the amount of money me and Vijay make, you're gonna feel like shit. And, and what, you're, you're, it's small, obviously, but stop thinking about that and just know that I gave you a good deal. This is money that you don't make in Hollywood. The peanuts I'm paying you is money that you don't make in Hollywood, Peter. You don't. This is the kind of money that James Cameron and all of them would dream of making in Hollywood. They don't make this kind of money in Hollywood, I'm saying. James Cameron probably makes maybe $60 million for his... I don't know, he probably makes maybe $30 million base for Avatar. $40 million base, $30 million base for Avatar. And he negotiates for maybe $60, $70, $80 $100 million of the royalties with James Cameron. And you sign your like 500, 450 million deal, like way more than how much he's making. So I'm saying, huh? Well, Peter asked for money, yes. Guaranteed, Peter Jackson's agent will try and ask for the money, obviously. Because he knows the kind of money I'm going to make on my movie. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not stupid. If I even price this series for $160 on Amazon, a billion, billion, three billion, four people will buy that. You do the math. I mean, you're going to make like 50, 55 billion dollars in royalties. 60 billion rolled, 58 billion rolled. He's he wants a nice billion dollars of that. He's greedy, obviously, which he's not getting. I'm not giving him a billion dollars of my money. He's not. Would you give me a billion dollars, Peter? No, I, I give you like 25 million dollar base, and that's it. Yes, yeah, so I'm nice enough to give you 350, 400 dollars of my money. What I can do for Peter, I can sign him to a flat 400 million dollar deal if you want for the royalties instead of giving him 0.6 that way he guaranteed makes his 400 million dollars you can do that for Peter if you want he signed his 500 million dollars you can do that for Peter if you want instead of giving him 0.6 I'll just give him 0.6 percentage deal is better the percentage deal he might even make more than 400 if I give him 0.6 that's what I'm saying huh? it's a good deal for Peter yeah Ivan how's my okay I'm gonna pay you 10 mil signing bonus Peter I'll pay you 7 million for the first year to co-write the script Take your notes, do the cons, arts with me, and help me with the main six business calls. Mix si main six, seven business calls. Consult with the 17 a little bit. You get your seven million for that. And the second year, I can pay you a million dollars. I'll have Peter oversee some stuff. In, I'll have Peter in Switzerland with, with Red Molitor and and, 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 and and Barry and all them. And they're going to be overseeing some of the stuff in Switzerland. So I'll have Peter, have Peter oversee the costume designers. Keeping tabs on the costume designers, you know what I'm saying. Keeping it, or I'll ask you, Peter. Do you want to do you want to go to Switzerland and oversee some of the stuff, like what a workshop creating the armor and weapons, the costume designers, uh, creating the costumes and 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 what the, the people the extras the people for the extras. Yeah, I, I don't mind overseeing some of that. Yeah, you can have people oversee that some of that. Pay him a million dollars for that year. That's a good paycheck for Peter. And in the third year, when he oversees everything in Switzerland, the third year, all the sets getting built, everything. Pay Peter two million for that year, so his ten mil bonus is split, and then in the fourth year he gets his rich sixty five million salary at the start of production. For 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 the one year nine months of production, he gets his sixty five million Peter, a lot of money, and then he gets his ten mil post money bonus, and he gets his zero point six percent of the royalties when the movie gets released, which is a good three fifty four hundred million royalties around there, four four twenty three eighty around there in royalties. So Peter signed is four fifty. Five hundred million dollar deal. It's a good paycheck for Peter, obviously. And then Mel Gibson, I'll pay him fifty six million to direct my movie, and I'll give him zero point five percent, which is a good line. Two eighty million or three hundred million. Mel Gibson signed like his two three fifty million dollar deal. Mel Gibson, three fifty, three forty, maybe two eighty two ninety million royalties he makes. Two eighty million royalties Mel Gibson makes, and he gets his fifty six million dollar salary. It's a good paycheck for Mel Gibson. He's not as big as Peter. That's why I'm paying him less. And if Mel Gibson wants more money, I'm like, Mel, this is my final offer. I'm not paying you any more than this, man. No, I mean, it's a deal. I don't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, you don't make this in Hollywood, Mel. And Mel Gibson gets the same, gets the same perks. Yeah. Mel Gibson, I'll also pay him a 10 mil sign bonus. And I'll pay him his $46 million at the start of production. 
So pay him 10 and he gets his 46, rich 46 million for the nine, the one, one year of uh, production. No gifts and gets. And he also, I'll give him like a seven mil pulse swimming bonus. He's not as big as Pierre. I won't give him, I'll pay him like a six mil pulse swimming bonus, Mel Gibson. Around there. Sorry, Mel Gibson gets his 10 million and he gets his 40 million. And he gets his like six million pulse swimming bonus. Pay Mel Gibson a good six million pulse swimming bonus. That's good, that's good enough for him. And you take him and his me for my vacation too, with my seven team. Same deal as Peter, obviously. Except Peter, I'm paying him more money because he's bigger than Mel Gibson. And he did lower the rings. Some Zara. Yeah. And if Peter gets greedy and you want my Peter, this is my final offer, man. If you don't like it, I will hire Mel Gibson over you. If Mel Gibson does not like my offer, I'll hire Peter over him. I haven't this a deal. I'm just being an asshole. Uh, you're paying me more enough money. I don't even make this on Yes, You don't make this kind of money in Hollywood, man. If you don't want to be a part of this amazing story, this billionaire budget story on her technology, you know what I'm saying? Be it the experience by Scratch's company, being flown on my nice, like, $300 million jet, pirate up my, like, 55 system in our yacht, my $300 million condo, you know what I'm saying? My grant was a property. If you don't want to get those, you know, say, the, the nice perks, the parties, all that stuff, Lush buffet, the, the buzz of the, the fans, the, the technology, touring, the world tour. I'll hire someone alive into the deal. Because he wants to be saved, obviously. Peter Jackson will give want to be saved, obviously. They don't want to be left behind. That's why they're offering somebody alive into the deal. That's a good deal for Peter Ivan. I'm saying, Ivan, what about the games? No, Peter, I'm not giving you squad of the games. I'm more than happy to pay you like 30k to consult with me and VJ for the game. But that's it. If you want to get paid for the game, you have to be involved in the game, which you're not going to be involved, as I need you to focus on the movie. If Peter Jackson wants to wants to co-write the script, I can pay him a 15 million base if you want to write the script and consult. I can give him like 0.05% of the profits. He'll make like his millions in profits. You have Peter if you want, but chances are he won't do that as you need him focused on the movie. Peter, I hired my own team for the game. I need you focus on the movie. Since I'm and I'm going to hire Epic Games to do my, my, my Zanus game. I'm going to put 460 million towards my Zanus game. I'm going to tell them, guys, make a good 20, 25-hour game. Last of Us Part 2 was about a 25-hour game. Make a long 25, 20-hour game for Xanus. Don't make a short 10, 12-hour game. No, make a good 20, 25-hour game. Okay, Ivan. And then make a 20, 25-hour game, an amazing Xanus game. Yeah. And I'll hire Rabbit to do my Xanus walkthrough. If I don't start the game division, I will not hire Rabbit. If I do, I will hire Rabbit, obviously. And I'll pay. I'll sign Rabbit to a nice deal. Pay him a good 640K to do the Xanus walkthrough. It's a good page for Rabbit. You give him his 2,000 game 500 gas card. You give him a free copy of the game. And you can have Rabat stay in a nice suite in a hotel. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Obviously. Rab the, the suite won't cost much because Rabat only, Rabat will only be... The suite for two weeks will only cost me like... Like fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. I can easily afford it. Have Rabat stay in a nice suite for the two weeks. Have him stay in a hotel. That way he has stuff to do. You have him stay in the trailer. He'll be bored. Because he won't have much stuff to do during the two weeks, obviously. And it's have him stay in a hotel. That way he can watch TV. He can watch YouTube. He can watch movies. It's a good chance Robert will go out and see movies and all stuff. He'll watch movies in his hotel room. You know what I'm saying? He'll go to the gym, work out, go swimming. Yeah, if you want Robert to what? <clears throat> if you want Robert to um, yeah, have a good experience, have him stay in a nice suite, obviously, for your game walkthrough, obviously. Peter's like, Ivan, you're making a Zanus game? Yeah, like, like, we did with, like we did for Lord of the Rings. I'm like, yeah, I'm making a Zanus game. I'm going to put Unreal Engine 5 technology into my Zanus game, Peter. Unreal Engine 5, like the Matrix Awakens thing they did? Yeah, yeah, Holy shit, Ivan, that's unheard of. And I got a piece of that, Ivan. I'm like, no, Peter. I'll only give you a piece of it if you work on the game, which you won't. I need you to focus on the movie, obviously. Peter, I can't have you work on the game in the movie. It's too much work for you. I need you to focus on the movie. I hired my own team for the game. I need you to focus on the movie. So I'm saying, huh? That's my deal for Peter. And all the actors, I'll sign them to games too. So, so John Boyega, I'll sign him to a $1.5 million deal for the game. Avon Joja, I'll sign him to a $1.5 million deal for the game. Danielle Minette, I'll sign her to a $1.5 million deal for the game. Ariana Grande, I'll sign her to a $2 million deal for the game. Vigo, I can sign him to a $2.5 million deal for the game. I just Alba, $2.5 million. Angelina Bissett, $2.5 million. $2 million. Uh, Andy Circus, $2 million. Some Sarah. Digimon Sue, two million. And then Don Cheeto, I can sign him to three because he's worth forty. 
sign to the sign pay him the most out of everyone. Don Chio, you can pay him three. Don Chio's bigger than Vigo, so I'll pay him three. And Vigo, I'll pay him two point five. Carl Urban, pay him one point five. John Rice Davis, pay him one point five. Or Bernard Hill pay him 1.5. The Anonzo actor pay him 1.5. You know what I'm saying? The actor for um for Lithius and Baramis and, and, and Morale and for Fool, those actors, you pay those guys like 400k for the game, 500k for the game. The actor for Fool, I can pay him like 600k. The actor for Baramis and Lithius, pay them like 400k, 350, 400k for the game. Pay them less. It's a good paycheck for a game, obviously. Because they're more they're more minor characters. So the minor characters, you pay them like a couple hundred grand for the game. Whereas your main stars pay them their millions. The main stars pay them their millions, obviously. Who else? Um, who else? Does that, leave, does that leave, any, leave anyone out? The actor for Eratat. So if Benjamin Kumajak is in, the, is in the game for Eratat, I won't leave Benjamin Kumajak for the game for Eratat, though. Because Eratat is an animal, so so he won't... You know, but he'll have to do voice acting with Cat. Benjamin Kumajak, I'll pay him like $3 million for the game. To do the voice acting work for Eratat. William Defoe, I'll pay him $2.5 million for the game. That's a good paycheck for those guys. And the actors for the Crows and the Eagles, pay those guys like fifty k for the game. They'll do minor voice acting work for the Crows and the Eagles. Pay them like fifty, six, seventy grand for the game, those guys. I can't pay all these guys like five, ten million. No, they're gonna. I only have a four guys. I only have a four, six million dollar budget. I'm only gonna have like a seventy million dollar cap for salaries for the game around there. Seventy, seventy-five million dollar cap for salaries, and everything else is getting poured towards the game. For the movie, I'm willing to take out my the checkbook and pay the actors a lot of money. But for the game, you don't 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 let them rip you off. It's a game. Pay them like two. You know what I'm saying? 2.5, 1.5, 3 million for the game or on, on average, the, the, the Hollywood actor for the game, which is a good deal. In Hollywood, they don't make that. For most people who do voice acting for games only make a couple hundred grand. 100, 150, 200, 300K for a game. And I'm paying your millions. I gave them a good deal. And the awesome of the live, that's a good deal. You're paying me my, my rich millions for the movie, you're giving me pieces of rollies, and you're also paying me a lot of money for the game. Yes. That's a, you know, guys, I'm like, guys, Guys, I am paying you guys way more than how much all the developers are making for my game. Most of the developers in my game are only going to make like 55k around there, 50k. And then the managers get, get more money, obviously. With you guys, I'm paying you way more than all those guys. And since I'm, I gave you a good deal. I'm going to tell the actors, guys, the, the contract you signed for the game, keep it to yourself. Don't go bragging to the developers I paid you these months. They can get angry. As I'm paying you guys more than how much all the developers are making for my game. All those guys are making their 50, 60K, and you're making, you guys are getting, are getting paid your millions. Because you're my game stars, obviously. Keep your lips sealed. Whereas me and VJ will not take a salary off the game, we'll do it for free because we're going to make our money off the royalties for the game, too. We're going to make our, I don't know, we're going to make our nice animal six billion bucks off the game. Me and VJ, we don't, we can work for free. We'll, 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 I'll work for free, obviously. I won't pay myself a salary. Give me a sec, guys. I got to go use the bathroom. Don't hate me. It's good to go if you don't want to wait, I'm
Sorry for the wait. I have to go use the bathroom. Don't want to wait, guys. Skip the video. Is there? Yeah. So that's my deal for the Zayas actors for my last one was movie like this. You sign them to their movie contract. You guys already know how much money I'm willing to pay them. And you what? And you sign them to the game contract too. If I do the game, which I most likely will. And those actors are more than, more than happy to do the game. I don't. I'm, I'm more than happy to be in the game. Are you crazy, Ivan? I want to be a part of that game. But pay them the millions of way they're not angry. Considering you and Reed are going to make, I don't know, your six, seven million dollars off the game. Pay them a lot of money. Because for the game, I'm not going to make as much money. Only a good maybe 100, 150 million people worldwide are going to buy my game. 100 million people worldwide are going to buy my game. Maybe 80 million people. Because there's not that much people around the world who play games, right? Hence why for the game, maybe a good 80, 100 million people worldwide will buy it. And then everyone else, if I hire a rabbit, everyone will just watch the walkthrough. Yeah, I'm not interested in playing games. I'll just watch rabbits walkthrough. Yeah. You'll watch the walkthrough, but you're, they're not going to play the game, obviously. That's why for the game, me and Regen might make maybe eight, maybe eight, nine, seven, ten billion bucks for the game. A lot of money, but not the kind of money we're making for the movie, since I am. Yeah, that's why if you want to keep the Hollywood actors happy, you sign them to a big contract, obviously. A big contract for the movie. Give them a piece of the royalties, and you give them the pay them the millions for the games. But don't let them dupe you, man. If if if, if John Boyega and Avon Jody and Carl Urban and all of them get greedy and they want a piece of profit for the games, my guys, you're I know that feeling. You smell blood in the water. You're not getting squat off the game profits. You're not worth it. You get your flat one point five million, two million dollars. That's that's my deal for you guys. If you don't like it, then I'll hire someone else to do the game. I right, it's, it's a deal. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a, that's that's a nice contract. And most, most people. Most people who do voice acting in the games make like a couple hundred grand. Yeah, they only make like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred k for a fucking game. I pay you millions, and you're making way more than all the developers who are who are involved in the game are making. I gave you a good deal. Show my camera.